Everybody, it's Tyler here at the 2022 Indiana Robotics Invitational, checking in team number 7457, Super Duper Robotics, coming in out of Indiana. Uh, a team that has really taken Indiana by storm. Uh, well, starting in 2019, I think, rookie year, right? Coming in, and in the couple years that you've had the play, just absolutely uh, amazingly impressive. Jeremiah is here to tell us more about this robot. Of course, we'll be going through that full cargo journey, talking about their climber and some cool, unique features, some color shooting, and more coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Did you know that over 30% of the student population at Kettering University was in high school robotics? These same students have received a portion of over $7 million from robotic scholarships from Kettering University. See why so many in first choose to go to Kettering University at Kettering.edu. So Jeremiah, let's start out with your uh, your intake, talking about uh, any iterations you went through, why did you choose this design? Uh, some Velcro I see here For as sure, well. Yeah. Love to hear more about that. Absolutely. So first off, this is our 2022 robot. We named it Midas. Um, and yeah, starting off with the intake, um, we had to test out, obviously, a couple different ideas. Uh, we decided to go with the four bar, um, clipping out, and we wanted to make sure that our pneumatics uh, would be closed as our intake would come out, so we'd be less likely to bend them. Um, this is made of polycarbonate. I think you see this with a lot of teams nowadays. Uh, just so, you know, we take impacts, we take side hits, this bends, we don't break anything, we don't bend anything, or at least permanently, right? Sure. Um, we do have a breaker bar on the front. Uh, this is also kind of a design choice to prevent things from breaking that we didn't want to. We didn't want to bend this axle right here. So when we hit something, this bar hits instead, pushes the intake back, whatever, right? We chose to use uh, three inch Animar compliant wheels. Uh, and later on, we actually uh, tossed in some Velcro here to get even better traction on our, on our cargo. Um, this is really helpful. We actually found in testing uh, that these, especially fresh balls, will just stick. It's, uh, it's, it's impressive, right? Sure. Um, we've got this Velcro on this bar here as well. If there's a bouncing ball, it'll stick and just roll down. So that pretty much- It, it doesn't just like it. stick onto here then, right? It's like- No, it'll, it'll just fall down. Anything? It'll just right, fall good. down, yeah. But, that was, that was something that definitely intimidated us at first. <laughs> All right, fair <laughs> enough on there. Uh, when you're looking uh, from, from your intake-wise on there, uh, what made you choose to go with like the, the four bar over the bumper type uh, versus maybe just like a, a straight through or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as far as over the bumper is, we really just wanted to make it so we had the ball centered and completely organized once they came into the robot. So we wanted to do that as much as we could outside of the robot as possible just to kind of save space and get everything organized or yeah I guess organized centered. Uh, obviously working out great for your team so far you've for had sure. a very impressive Absolutely. performance uh, throughout your season so love that. Let's uh, move it into your conveyor system here. Uh, uh, interesting uh, bend that you have so I'd love to hear more about uh, that ball pathing as it goes through and then yeah, uh, totally. you mentioned uh, before the interview that you have a color sort as well so we can probably demonstrate that on camera too. Yeah absolutely we can do that in just a second. So yeah we've got uh, balls coming in here it's extremely straightforward we've got this conveyor on top uh, this is flat um, and then we do have a bit of an incline uh, as we reach these uh, these two by ones and then this right here we we fondly refer to this as, as our pooper mechanism uh, but essentially we get a we get a ball we don't want we've got a color sensor reading it this wheel will reverse from lifting up uh, and instead kind of spitting out, so a ball will come out on top of our battery and out the robot. So we can just do a demonstration real quick. Do you want to turn on the intake? Awesome. So we are blue right now. And this is a red ball. It's right out the other end. Do you do anything with that in autonomous at all, uh, potentially, in regards to like if you pick up the wrong color or any strategies with that? We have color sensor running anytime the intake's on. So if we pick up the wrong ball during autonomous, the other team isn't getting a point for that. Or Perfect. Four points, I guess I should say. Uh, let's keep moving in then as we go uh, through the rest of your conveyor system yeah. into your shooter. I'd uh, love to hear about just the uh, uh, the positional hood that you have. Uh, and the, actually this, uh, this angle that you're shooting at is quite interesting as well too. For sure, yeah. So actually, um, before we get too much into the shooting, uh, I do want to mention we do have some really nice brake beam sensors set up right here. Uh, so as these balls come in, they're getting indexed um, and they're getting spaced properly so we don't have any contact with our flywheels uh, you know, before it needs to be making contact. Um, but yeah, like you said, we do have a, an adjustable hood. Um, this low angle is used almost exclusively uh, for getting logo shots. Um, well, sorry, against the wall, high goal shots. Gotcha. We can also make low shots with it as well. Um, 
we ended up uh, feeling like it would be extremely valuable, uh, especially with a high defense play, or against high defense play, uh, just to be able to run straight into uh, a wall and just shoot up because we're less likely to get bumped, anything else like that. We actually did the same thing in um, 2020 and 2021, yep. uh, and we found it extremely valuable. So we specifically picked two inch. Uh, these are actually geared on a one-to-one, -one, so we picked two inch over four inch wheels here. So we still have a little bit of backspin on these wheels as they're coming out. Um, and I think that this, uh, we chose a lower durometer on these top wheels, uh, just so that as the ball comes out, you know, last second, it gets a little bit more, um, I guess, counteracted on the backspin. Uh, um, that I makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I see that you have vision uh, kind of facing down here for, for intake. Yeah. Do you use any sort of vision up here, or is it just because you're shooting on front that's not as necessary for you? Yeah, so we, um, we have limelight on this side. Uh, it's, I mean, once we line up, we, we just press a button, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I assume lots of teams really have the same scenario. But uh, we don't really worry too much about looking at the goal specifically because I look at the robot as long as it's you know pointing generally towards uh, where we need to shoot, it'll correct it for us and you know wrap up to the right speed. Uh, Let's start to wrap up. Talk about your climber a little bit. What's sure. gone into it? Uh, I don't know if we can show off the climber sequence or anything like that too. That'd be awesome to show off. Uh, and so let's talk about the mechanical features and then uh, narrate us through the uh, climber sequence. For sure. Yeah. So these right here are um, we've got two Andy Mark uh, you know climber in a box arms. Um, We'll come up, we start from the mid bar. It's a pretty straightforward climber. We don't do any skips or anything. Uh, if you want to just raise those arms, I guess. So yeah, we'll grab the first mid bar, we'll pull down. And then what will happen is as we pull down, this will get pushed out and then hook onto our mid bar. Again, pretty straightforward mechanism. Yeah. And then afterwards, we just run a macro that'll pull these arms out and then back in and then clip onto the next bar and then pull down again. What's, uh, what's kind of your optimal time for doing this right now? And then when you were approaching yeah. the season, what was kind of like, hey, this is what we want to try to go for? Definitely. Um, so I think when we came into this, we were thinking 20, 15 seconds. Um, and our original design, actually, we were getting pretty close to that. Uh, we did actually switch out these gearboxes at one point in order to increase our arm speed. We realized we weren't really using these Falcons to their full potential. Sure. Um, and at uh, I think after our second competition, we got it down to about 12 seconds consistently. Awesome. Well, Super Duper Robotics, like I said, uh, it's been blowing me away. Uh, definitely a, a star team, uh, not just in Indiana, I think really in the Midwest coming out here so far. So can't wait to see more play, more action course here at IRI and uh, future robots as well. Thanks a lot for taking the time. For sure. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Did you know that over 30% of the student population at Kettering University was in high school robotics? These same students have received a portion of over $7 million from robotics scholarships from Kettering University. See why so many in first choose to go to Kettering University at Kettering.edu. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.